right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm not going to beat around the bush this time. We have a very, 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 <laughs> very special <laughs> guest, Eric Wade, with us here today. He's our it's little our, special boy. He's, a, he's our little special boy. Our Thank little special made. boy our is here. Our full-time guest, Eric Wade, is finally here. Our full-time What can I say? It's good to make it in today. <laughs> I mean, keep on going, Eric. We need all the content. Oh, you, want, oh, you want me to talk about myself? Okay. Well, uh, like, you know, from birth. Yeah. <laughs> just, started all just in pick it up from September the beginning. September 6, 2001. All right. Um, somebody steals right, identity now five now days away. Numbers, uh, <laughs> Did you say five? <laughs> oh, <laughs> never mind. Let's <laughs> right, anyway, give we'll a round of applause for Eric. Finally yeah. make it. Yeah. 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 Screw you Dude. for not showing up the last three weeks. Now it, it meant to the roasting. <laughs> Where you been? It is, it is difficult being a full-time member of this group from a distance, you know? <laughs> yeah, it's how, hard to be here and not be here at the same time. I mean, how's your ego with the constant, uh huh? Bashing. bashing. <laughs> the, week, the weekly your to bi weekly bashing. Your self worth. Self wait, what? Yeah, what is self worth? What does that do to your self worth? <laughs> it's not I. It's not good. <laughs> That's a joke. It is fine. It's fine. I would say it's okay. I mean, in all reality, how many potato soups? <laughs> I don't have a kitchen in college, so I lack potato soups. I wish I had more in my life that would make my mental. My mental strength a lot better, um, as well as my mental picture of myself a lot better as well. But <laughs> That's fair. Nobody cares, Eric. All right. So. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're starting off strong, okay? You know, this is, this is great. All right, so. Yeah, it's not what we came for. After so, <laughs> so many delays, we're finally here with Eric. I'm actually really mm -hmm. excited for this. Um, so Our I guess little boy. the whole group <laughs> is here. The boys are boy. back in town. <laughs> the boys are back in town. The boys are back in town. <laughs> America. <Okay>. Careful. <laughs> yeah. We're, we're going to get DMCA. <laughs> oh, no. We are not sponsored by <laughs> any of those. Bit. <laughs> but so a couple weeks ago, it was the Easter time frame. Correct? I guess it was. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 It was coming up on Easter. And there was a little bit of uh, miscommunication. Between Eric and uh, Jeff, I guess miscommunication between all of us, but mm -hmm. specifically Jeff forgot to talk about uh, an event that he had on the day of recording. But also, what was that? You had a family yeah. Easter. You had Easter, Jeff. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Or yeah, Easter. so you couldn't be back here to record <laughs> till five. Right. And yeah. we, Eric thought we were recording in the morning because mm -hmm. he had to leave yeah. at two. No, that makes sense. Yeah. That checks. It was yeah. just a big jumble. Yeah, but even was, though I, I I kind of uh went at Jeff there, it's one hundred percent Eric's fault at the end of the day. Yeah. Yeah. It was. It was my it, <laughs> I don't know how just it was. Just to make it clear yeah. We were going to blame Eric no matter what. It's weird how Eric could somehow be here but not be here, here. for the actual recording. Because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> we went ate with him. Only I could do that. Yeah. It was just, it was a little weird. But it was good food though. Yeah, yeah I mean the food was, was great. Food. Yeah. yeah. Especially when I pay for it, you know. It's, yeah, it's, it's lit. Amen. It's so good <laughs> when Nate pays for it. <laughs> but, but yeah, before that, I mean, there wasn't, I, I guess I forget the reasons why we, I mean, scheduling purposes. I think you, there was only, I think there was only one other one where we thought he was going to make it and he didn't. And that was towards the beginning. Yeah, I think that. He was doing laundry. <laughs> that's the laundry. 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 Yeah. 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 No, that's right. Laundry. I was doing laundry. You want to explain yourself on that one? <laughs> I, I need some more clarification. All, All I, I remember is that I was doing laundry. I... Oh no! <laughs> That'll get cut out. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it will. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be better. I hope she enjoys <laughs> Not this. Not made for kids. <laughs> also, I'm sorry. I'll, I'll be coughing a lot. Uh, yeah, I've Nate's currently sick. dying. He doesn't have COVID. <laughs> I'm feeling better now. I mean, yeah, yeah. I mean, the test said he didn't have COVID. <laughs> um, all I remember about doing laundry was is that I had to do laundry, but I don't remember why doing laundry kept me from coming back down. <laughs> we don't remember why either. I don't, I don't remember. <laughs> we wanted you to. We need. We need some closure with that. See, I, I see where you want closure, but I don't have closure. To get. Yeah. So, and this is the problem, Eric. It's, it's, you're not getting enough in this relationship. You're not don't you small remember problem, what we okay? had? Don't you remember? You need to carry your weight, Eric. We had something so special. Actually, we had nothing because you never showed up. It was the first time you it literally happened. happened. <laughs> Other than an oral obligation, like 
Yeah, we had to, I don't even remember when we all planned this out. We had to yeah. delay the entire part. We missed a whole week of uploads. That's true. That's true. That's yeah. true. Also, to be Which fair, is unfortunate for you. I'm sorry. Yeah, for, <laughs> I don't think we ever asked Eric to actually join this. We just kind of no. told him he was here. We planned it in the group chat he was in, and then yeah. just then made him a part of it. Yeah. Well, <laughs> also to be fair, we were uh, buying some new equipment, and we're like, "Man, this is kind of expensive." And then just like, "Oh, but if we split this four ways, it'll be cheaper." <laughs> and we're like, "Yeah, you're right. You're <laughs> so right." We're like, so this is where uh, uh, Eric owing us uh, money comes comes into play, which Always. is still still. So, so what do you have to say about that? <laughs> uh, you still paid us. By I'm the in way. debt. <laughs> and and here's here's the crazy thing. You guys are wondering, well, how much how much does he owe? I don't even know how much I owe. Okay. <laughs> we were written down somewhere. Because they have, it, it, I'm sure it's somewhere. Okay. All I know is I'm in debt. <laughs> and I think my firstborn child is <laughs> supposed to be named after all three of these guys. Because of it. so. That would actually be cool. <laughs> Just be dope. Nathaniel, the, Jeffrey, Brian, Wade. <laughs> it's for certain get bullied, I get the first name, by the way. That's okay. No, yeah, it's yeah. just a triple middle name. <laughs> just, no, yeah. triple, no three, first name. Three middle names. Three, three, middle way, names. Uh, three hyphenated middle <laughs> names. Space, Velocity. <laughs> yeah, velocity, Brian, <laughs> Nate, Wade. Uh, there's an inside joke to that, but we're not going to elaborate that here. Okay, so moving forward. <laughs> Maybe one day. Uh, Probably not. <laughs> a bunch of dots. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Eric, uh, it's time for you to provide us with some content. It's your turn. Give us all the content you I can't got. wait for the next section. Yeah, <laughs> I'm so ready for the next section. <laughs> so if you want to go ahead and uh, speed this one up. <laughs> this velocity matters, by the way. <laughs> you want me to do the upcoming content? Or the... Oh, no, no, Eric, no, 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 Eric provides us with content. Oh, So you oh, got to provide I, us with content. See, I was only focused on the one that Jeff... You need to pull your way here. Um, yeah, so... So specifically, <laughs> I was talking about your drive down here. I, I wanted to make it, you know, vague. Just... Yeah, so I, I happen to drive like three and a half hours down here. Um, that's that's normally the issue for why I can't make it down here because lame I, excuse. I live <laughs> ways away as much as nobody wants to acknowledge it. Um, Not it real. The drive, the drive was solid last night. I thought I was going to come down last night, but then we had tornado warnings and watches all throughout Lincoln. So that was that was it wasn't it wasn't good, but. Um, for the most part, it was it's been it was a good drive. It was it was sunny. I was able to have my windows down uh, a little bit, and unfortunately, I made it here. So here we are. Unfortunately, yeah. there's okay. So there was a uh, pothole incident, right? Uh, uh, yeah. So I was driving down the road, and this is a massive pothole in Bloomington. Which I mean, there, where there is there not that, a massive yeah. pothole in Bloomington? <laughs> but I swerved, okay, because I thought, well. I'm not going to total my car. And I thought, <laughs> I would like to see how other people manage this. And so I looked through my rear view and watched watched a woman just absolutely just crumple the car. <laughs> she hit it so hard. And the moment I saw it, I thought, she's going to have to change a tire today. It was like a <laughs> serious <laughs> moment. She hit it, it was. just a complete flip, explosions Explosion. in the background. <laughs> blew up. Eric got Directed out of the car to walk. I said, Eric got out of the car to walk out of the explosion <laughs> so that yeah. it could. <laughs> I got out. Took ten steps back and then walked up to my car with the explo- uh, an explosion in the background. It was it was beautiful. You guys will see that later. Vengeance. <laughs> Vengeance. Why do you say her name? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna get it. <laughs> uh, 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 content you wanna give us anything else after uh, that life, Barry? Well, I'm a. Uh, I don't You're know. What? I'm a first semester senior going into my, <laughs> my second semester, uh, biblical studies major. Um, <laughs> Jeff is going to sleep right now. We're never getting paid. <laughs> <laughs> so it, 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 it's a it's a good addition to the to the group here because you know we have whatever they've done. And, <clears> and you know what stuff. we do with I our life. I don't. Re- well, I know you. <laughs> you work. I just don't remember what you graduated with. Oh my goodness! You graduated, you graduated with D's. Yeah, from the school of <laughs> Candace <laughs> Sukon D's University. <laughs> Eric, I, oh, I, I no. think you knew us better. To be honest, but we do definitely have a diverse group. We have a, a youth. Pastor major, correct? Is that Brian that yes. you graduated with? Yep. 
And then Jeff will be graduating with a, a degree in music education. What a nerd. And then, of course, you're getting what? your... Biblical study. No, you didn't study. say yours. What? I'm going around in a circle. I'm oh, you're going in a circle. I didn't, know, I didn't know you were going back to Eric oh. a second time. I thought you were moving on. And Country's I'm like, you forgot beautiful. yourself. No, I mean, no. And then, of course, I'm the uh, the electrical engineer. Of course, I don't know why I said of course. Of course. <laughs> you of course. Okay. Get How wrecked. You if anybody know. knows what a circle is, it's, it's Nate. <laughs> Obviously not Brian. <laughs> but it's Nate. <laughs> I am a circle. What's a circle? <laughs> but electrical engineering is my my domain so yeah of, of course but all right uh moving okay <laughs> i forget <laughs> Say is, we're gonna go back to eric on this one <laughs> go ahead and explain this don't don't like address the topic but just talk about the topic <laughs> don't ever say what the topic is honestly it's it's quite a lot you know <laughs> it, it can be difficult and and i think that that's understandable sometimes i think that <laughs> I can't relate. <laughs> can't relate. <laughs> Happens all. Oh, okay. I've been there. Yeah, Not all. Of you know what I'm saying. All this is us. a part of the all podcast of that no one is going to understand. <laughs> no, no. no. But all right, well, we're glad you're here, Eric. And thank you. Uh, hopefully, you can. Um, we give your parents three potato soups out of five. Yeah, yeah. That'll make sense. No, no. I, that. I, That'll make I don't sense understand that. But it's just three potato soups. Yeah, just three, three potato soup. Not out of five. Not just three. Five. True. Just, just three potatoes. It will be just a measuring of potato soup. <laughs> it's not out of just anything. total like, potato like, soup. Do, do we like elaborate on the size of the That's bowl? True. Like What's... three big bowls of potato soup? Or like three I would say bowls, any... three medium bowls, standard like bowls, bowls, leftovers, like a... or okay. just cooked? Well, I mean, like, <laughs> like fresh. I don't know about you, but gourmet. I feel like leftovers leftovers is always bigger because, like, the the first <laughs> time it's made, you you go you you play it safe because you know there's people that are eating with. But when it's leftovers, I normally just warm up the whole potato soup in the, in the microwave and then just eat it. So it's like everything that's left is one bowl. But okay, I, I want to get you guys' thoughts on this. Okay. I think leftover potato soup, or a lot of soups in general, like chilies, uh, chicken noodle, any anything like that, is always better on the second day. No, it is because because everything sets in. Yeah. Everything set it, like yeah. it. It all you know, it sits in the fridge. It, it absorbs all those flavors, and then when you read it a second time, oh, it's, it's just so much better. I could definitely see that. And I think that'll play into the grading scale. So, <laughs> yeah. so I think it has so to whenever, play into the oh, baby, this is two-week-old <laughs> soup, <right>? I mean, <laughs> it's so good. It's so well, so I don't good. know. You know, if you have a dairy, you know, like, <laughs> you know, like it is two weeks old, you yeah, know, like I feel like, soup. I feel like it's on <laughs> classification scale, because... I feel like it's, we go. it's damaging to, to put a cap on how many potato soup something can be because then that means nothing can be better than the True. cap. You know what I mean? No. But also, we can go up to an infinite amount of potato soups, but those infinite amount of potato soups are never better than a second day potato soup. Oh, I see. <laughs> you know okay, what I mean? So that's how so yeah. Like, yeah. No matter yeah. how many potato soups. And put, this will be our compare, grading like, scale right, exactly. for everything they, going forward. Exactly. It, nothing beats a fine aged potato soup, you know. <laughs> a fine aged, <laughs> fine aged potato soup. Exactly. I, I, agree, I, I agree with exactly. that. Exactly. So, like, can we like incorporate like a large pot, like instead of doing like different quantities, could you like up, like you know how we're talking about bowls, but like, I um, mean, this mm-hmm. is like one large pot of potato soup, and then it could be like also like one like day old pot of potato soup. <clears throat> well, I think that we could take like the. I just I think of other other you know big super popular gaming talk shows and networks like we are yeah um, yeah like us of, there's there's a great way that we can go about this and I think it's the the plan that most of them have followed and it's the sense of I think we need to grade and and judge things according to just a convoluted system of our own ideas of potato soups and then eventually after about I don't three, find it that convoluted though I think it's pretty self explanatory see, see but here's the thing after about three years of the listeners trying to figure out what in the world are they talking about then and only then will we then go back and say okay we're going to keep it to a, a grading scale of zero to ten potato soups and then we're we're not going to stick to that again so I, so I like I think, that idea. yeah I think that I think we could it's our own rules. It's our own playground. So I think we can do however many potatoes It's our own kitchen, want. right? You know. And honestly, if it's bad, it's a chicken noodle soup. Okay? <laughs> it's not to bash on chicken noodle soup, but every, every it's soup. It's not potato is, soup. You judge everything by chicken noodle soup. Like, if you can make a good chicken noodle soup, you've done what, you know, Campbell's has been doing for 90 yeah. years now. Well, you poured and, Campbell's into a bowl. 
And yeah. then you made a good chicken noodle soup. <laughs> exactly. I don't know about it's, that. I, I, Okay, do you like chicken noodle? Okay, let's, okay, let's let's move move on to chicken noodle soup here. Okay. Oh my goodness! I don't, to, I don't want to do that. <laughs> Our grading scale conversation has uh, it's, went straight it's into important. soup combo. Well, we got to have different facts. Like it's you know, super. <laughs> Gosh, it's really good. All right, uh, that was so, so bad. I guess we'll just we'll just use we'll just base it off of. The lack of potato soup and then the abundance of potatoes. Exactly. Kind of, exactly. And, it is and that will be how you know if we like something or not. at our whim. So it's for you to decide if it's good or if it's bad or whatever. And then eventually we might tell you. We might explain. Yep. Maybe. 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 We'll probably forget about this. Night. Probably. <laughs> we'll probably never use it again. No. no. But we'll use it today. All right. So uh, upcoming content. Oh, uh, plan on there being a stream. Tuesday. Tuesday. Um, probably going to be more Overwatch 2. Oh, what a good game. Overwatch 2 we'll beta. That later. <laughs> Maybe not. We'll, we'll probably. See. But I would assume. That, I mean, that's literally consuming all of our uh, gaming time at the moment. And Jeff will be happy to know that Lucio's meta again, but we can talk about that later. Ooh. Yeah, Lucio is pretty good. So, uh... <laughs> What was that? That is a classic Lucio Howl right there. I don't think it is, but... Turn it up. Turn it up. About Overwatch. Too. Let's break it down. Okay. Um, <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Nate yeah. has lost all <laughs> trade of thought. Just, gone. just, gone. Gone. just yeah. I, I, I don't know how to recover from that one. <laughs> We're just going to throw this, throw this to Eric now. Go ahead and just continue. Yeah. <laughs> Eric's not prepared. It's a circle back. <laughs> I'm glad to be here. <laughs> Thank you for having me. All right, Eric, we should shut up. this. All right. <laughs> Go ahead and just uh, turn off your mic and leave. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding, Eric. I love you. Please Sometimes. don't leave. Our little boy. Our little boy, no. <laughs> <laughs> He's gone. <laughs> but yeah, expect a stream next Tuesday. All right. Uh, uh, also, we may take um, some clips from our streams and upload some. Maybe potential like TikTok clips and YouTube, YouTube clips. Can- content. Yeah. So be on the lookout for that. We're awful at editing. We're and- terrible at editing. We said that in the last two podcasts, I think, and that we were going heard- to yeah. upload this stuff, <laughs> and we haven't done it yet. And you guys can find that stuff right here. I hate now you. Jeff's got to edit that. That's in. so much extra work. <laughs> <laughs> You <laughs> may not find it right there. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, Eric. Oh my goodness. Get wrecked. <laughs> find this right Terrible. here. This is awful. This is this is just falling into shambles right now. It's, yeah. We are having a great start. Hot start it's today. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. So clips. Yeah, I'll be on the lookout for him. Freaking Eric. <laughs> <laughs> Which that okay, yeah, my next point that falls into poss- more possible YouTube content. We're awful at editing and we really don't have the resources or tools to do a lot of editing right now. So we'll be looking into that and hopefully we we actually have a lot of good clips and we've broken down a lot of our videos um into like We have a lot of good segments. clips from Nate's POV stream. <laughs> we have a lot I of missed shots from my POV stream. So. I don't know I was playing on Overwatch too the um the uh the evening stream that we had on uh the Thursday. late night the late night stream that Tyler slept through and left me by himself <laughs> by myself uh it it was all, I mean we had a good time but my goodness I was playing some of the worst Overwatch I've ever played <laughs> it was I'm, terrible I missed shots for was, two hours yeah I missed shots for two hours and I'm like all right that's enough of this that's why I don't play Overwatch I had the stream going to me or going on my Mac. To watch Brian while I was so playing with bad. him. So Terrible. bad. It was honestly probably a worse setup to watch him while you're playing with him. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Just get good, Brian. Yeah. It's been better since, but that day, I mean, it was, it was rough. Brian was, was down horrendous. It was late. I got back at like 10 something and I'm like, well, you know, guess I'll click go live. And it was just a disaster. I'm wondering if a lot of people got codes around, because what it was going from what one it would have been one to, oh yes it would have been one to nine right was when the yeah when the beta was, was open so there were probably were a lot of new people on the game people. too so i was just getting railed by all the pe- all those people coming those, into the beta yeah. yeah yeah 
So it's balanced back out. It's been better again since oh. then. But and yeah. I've actually hitting my shots again. But yeah. So be on the lookout for uh for that content coming up. So. All right. And today's stream, our stream. <laughs> goodness today's gracious. Today's podcast and today's podcast. We're gonna go ahead and recap the NFL draft. Uh, Brian had a stream. Yeah, 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 Jeff was here Thursday night for part of it. Ooh, he missed the first hour, yeah. and then my dad was here the whole time. And Tyler hung hung out for a little while too. And Tyler donated. He did. Oh yeah, that was an interesting, uh, <laughs> interesting exchange. Yeah, <laughs> not a very fair exchange. We'll have to uh, iron out the donate stream or the donate <laughs> thing <laughs> for our channel oh, and our streams. And they just oh, died. Gosh. You yeah, we'll have to iron out our donate system because our donate system is very kind of broken right now. You got a tissue. <laughs> no, you look fine. You're good. You, you're clean. He's clean. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> yeah, so, the, yeah, the stream, the dra- draft stream was fun. We had a good time. We hung out for, like, four hours. But the, uh, yeah, the donation thing, we put that in our bio all the time, and we put our merch in our bio all the time. The donation thing is busted. I mean, we've it got makes to, complete sense. We've got to figure out something there because it didn't make any sense. So would you say people would, they had to they had to subscribe on. to Streamlabs Pro to be able to donate, which so is five ninety nine a month. It cost Tyler six dollars to donate us five dollars, so, so he, he lost eleven dollars. That seems like a good deal. So it's just, yeah, we'll figure that out. We'll figure out some maybe a different route to doing it. Yeah. Maybe we'll just put the vape out directly in the bio. Probably. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Also, but, we, we got some merch for all yeah, of Yeah, the merch is stuff. up. We'll have ours to put on the next podcast to yeah. wear. Mm-hmm. So we have pretty cool t-shirts coming in. Hopefully we can show that off uh, and the, the rest, podcast. Yeah, the rest is up. I keep adding stuff. If there's something you guys want to see, leave it in the comments and I'll check and see if we can add it and we'll add it. Like I know Tyler asked about a fanny pack, and so I looked and, and I found a, switch. Yeah, oh, I, I found a fanny pack, and I I mean I threw it on the store, and he bought it. So like, it's not it's not hard mm. to add stuff to our store if there's something <laughs> that people want. He Tyler's, also wants some Tyler's booty next, shorts. Yeah, Tyler's <laughs> next request was a pair of booty shorts, so he can wear the booty shorts, fanny pack, and crop top at the same time. <laughs> we'll have to get a picture of that from him. <laughs> we can make that happen, and it'll be official uniform of law. <laughs> 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 <Yeah>. <laughs> We'll have to, oh, that'll be so gorgeous. <laughs> It'll be so good. <laughs> so, but we'll get that. I mean, yeah, the merch store is up though. It works. And I don't believe you have to subscribe for it. Just we don't get to set prices, and so we leave our our prices are defaulted to whatever they yeah. recommend. Mm. And I don't know how the shipping works either. So true. So, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, they they can put their yeah they you could put your own. Like, it's not going to come to us, and we have to send it out to you guys. You you can send it directly to uh, your place of residence. So. Yeah, that's nice, mm-hmm. too, that we okay. don't have to deal with any of the shipping, and they handle all that. So if you just you just fill in your shipping information, it goes straight to your door. Yep. So, But, but yeah, we kind of got sidetracked. We got lost lost in thought. We always go through that. That happens a lot. Yeah. But we that were talking about the that. NFL draft. And, uh, yeah, draft show went real well. So, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll dive into... So our thoughts on on that coming up, and also uh, some Overwatch two first oh, impressions. Oh baby, what a fun game! Um, Eric may not have too much about that, but he will have a lot to say about uh, Lego Star Wars. I know we talked about sure. that. Bring it back. That's true. That mm-hmm. last week, round two. Yeah. But I think Eric wants. To, I mean, he is a the connoisseur of Lego, yeah. Lego Star Wars. So it's unhealthy. Or a it really is. <laughs> yeah, true. So we'll give our thoughts on Overwatch two, and uh, he'll give his thoughts on Lego Star Wars: The Skywalker Saga. That is a but, defeated man sitting there. Defeated man. <laughs> defeated, but I don't over even know Julian. what that means. <laughs> you know, defeated by Lego Star, Star Wars. Wars. Defe- <laughs> Our little boy. Defeated by Legos. <laughs> also realized that three cameras, three cameras, two cameras. Hey, could you speak up? <laughs> I, I was just, just admiring about how... <laughs> Each of these phones has three cameras, and then mine has two. I just I don't know, <laughs> hey, why don't you get a better yeah. phone? I know. <laughs> do you just like like do you not do you not have money or I well, <laughs> I don't. I, I, I'm sorry. I'm just confused. I have just as many cameras as your iPad does, which is just 
Yeah, uh, that's um, we're gauging the value of the phone based on how many cameras. Yeah. Have. Was your was your iPhone twelve hundred dollars? No. Oh, well, the iPad was. Yeah. <laughs> 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 well, I don't, I'll take that as a compliment. I think I don't know where to take that, Jeff. Uh, to be yeah. Thank you. Mm, yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> that's what Good I point, thought. Good point, Jeff. Yeah, back, back's up and coming. <laughs> oh, Jeff, with the that's what I thought after making a point that none of the rest of us <laughs> even know what he was trying to make. Weird flex, but had okay. me lost in thought. Holy <laughs> yeah, lit, lit. But I, I think I think that's all. With all of the up and coming, so let's jump right into the uh, sports section, which oh, is just baby. occupied mm-hmm. by the NFL draft. So, because that's pretty much the only thing that's happening. Brian, I'm going to throw that into uh, throw that into. I'm going to throw that to you. I'm all not, right. not going to throw that into anything, but I'm going to throw it to you. <laughs> all right. Well, let's say it was Thursday, Friday, Saturday NFL draft. We were here. We were live for the first round on Thursday, where I wore my nice Colts jersey. You know, got the Colts socks on, repping. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Sitting here waiting, watching the Colts, despite the fact that the Colts did not have a first round pick. Yep. <laughs> and I yep. knew that going yep. in. So I was, I'm just, you know, repping. But Brian, what if Chris Ballard traded yeah, up? Yeah, that was never going to happen <laughs> ever. N- never. I mean, there's zero percent chance. Because the first pick he had, he traded, he traded back. <laughs> yeah. And yep. it worked out. And it worked flawlessly. out flawlessly. Yeah. The Colts had a great draft. I will never question Chris Ballard. The Colts have quite possibly the most athletic draft class in NFL history. I mean, those guys are some just athletic freaks. Who knows if any of them can play football? But boy, they are athletic. Looks like a good basketball roster. To They're the, for real. I mean, <laughs> they, they, got, in they got like seven pass catchers over 6'5 or 6'4. Yep. I mean, there's so many of them. That do it. It's like 35 plus verticals right yeah that they've a tight end that two tight ends that they drafted in this draft that are both six seven and one has a 36 inch vertical they're uh, wide receiver like they, wide receiver they picked <laughs> the wide 37. receiver they picked is six three almost six Minus four 30. and he has a 40 inch vertical and then they have michael pittman who's six four mike Strawn, who's six five desmond patman who's six four just a lot of Dang. tall bodies now given a lot of them are young, and a lot of them are unproven. So, and then they did bring back their tight end that is also a six six former basketball player. Oh, he was I a, didn't know he was a former yeah. He was a, he was a center at VCU when they went on the big tournament run. <laughs> oh, I remember that. Oh, yeah, he was the starting center for VCU, and he didn't have a. He's only he's six 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 seven, and so <laughs> well, he's playing. He yeah, didn't have. He was a starting center, so he didn't have a basketball future as a center, and he couldn't shoot, so he went pro in the NFL as a tight end. And the Colts had him on a practice squad and have developed him to the point that he's their starter now. But, yeah, yeah, I mean, it was pretty cool to watch. The weirdest thing about the draft was that, I mean, there was one quarterback at 20 with Kenny Pickett, and then no other quarterbacks got drafted until the third round. And the guy that went first in the third round, who... Pickett was Pittsburgh. He stayed in Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh. He's from Pittsburgh, went to the Steelers. That's right, I knew. Um, But, uh... The weirdest thing was, too, is that the quarterback in the third round that went first before Malik Willis went eventually was, I mean, it was Desmond Ritter. It wasn't Malik Willis, who was projected at six. So, like, yeah. that's well, a guy that was projected that as high as the top six, expected to be a first-round <clears> lock, <throat> and had the highest ceiling of the quarterbacks in this draft that literally fell to the middle of the third round. Wow. And he went to Tennessee, so if he develops, the Colts will have to play him twice a year, yeah. and that doesn't mm-hmm. sound fun. Mm-hmm. Hopefully, he just doesn't develop. <laughs> that would be nice but uh yes yeah, so, I mean it was just a weird draft because the quarterbacks were bad I mean it's the first year in a long time that your first you don't have like four quarterbacks going in the first round mm-hmm. <clears throat> it was the first time in a long time that a quarterback hadn't been drafted in number one right yeah a few uh, it's been a few years there was like some ends and I stuff I 2018 or 2017 yeah like something it. like that I yeah. know it was the first time since like I don't know it was like early 2000s that are, or no it was 20 it's so 2012 that a quarterback only one quarterback was picked in the first round there was a year where EJ I saw it before the draft started they were talking about it that EJ Manuel was the only quarterback picked in the first round and then the there was one draft in I, I mean it's been a long time 20 so 20 some years where uh 
after the there was only one other quarterback drafted in the or one quarterback drafted in the first three rounds or first two rounds, and that draft was Tom Brady's draft. Oh wow! Yeah, mm-hmm. there was a guy picked in the third round or a picked in the third round, a quarterback picked in the first round, quarterback picked in the third round, and then a fifth and sixth. Then Tom Brady was the sixth. Who was the first overall pick? Wasn't it like a defensive end, right? Was- yes, and it was not the one that everyone thought it would be. Well, until like the day before the draft. Right. Went to the Jet and Jags, right? They had the first. Yes, Trayvon Walker from Trayvon Georgia, Walker. and right. then the guy that everyone I mean, he's had. Really good. They ever, the guy that well, he's nope. he had limited production, but he's an athletic freak. Yeah. And then the guy that everyone thought was a lock to go one for like six months now, and then over the last two weeks, the Jaguars shifted to athletic ability instead of the they shift, shifted to potential instead of the guy that everyone thought they were going to go with. Uh, he went to, that was Aiden Hutchinson, which is the guy from Michigan who's a monster. Mm. And he got to go, which I am happy it worked out this way because he did get to go to Detroit, which is in Michigan. He's from Michigan, played at Michigan in college. So he gets to stay in Michigan and play for Detroit. And maybe they'll be relevant. That's cool. But probably not. <laughs> they're pretty it's bad. Detroit. <laughs> I don't know. I wouldn't have yeah, to bets on that one. Yeah, they're pretty bad. <laughs> that being said, Jared Goff MVP season, please, for the love of my dynasty fantasy team that is stuck with him. Oh, Brian, I, I don't... I can't get rid of him. I I've, I've tried so hard, and he's my best quarterback. Man, can only wish. Trevor Lawrence, <laughs> please do something. All right, I got Eric, bad news for you, on the, Brian. On the draft. Yeah. I want to yeah, hear, so, hear your input. Eric Wade lacks most streaming services, so his Why information... Is that? Because I'm broke. Oh, that's <laughs> fine. Uh, <laughs> You know, just want to clear that um, up. Just want to clear that up. Solid Disney Plus, and and that it works well I for, just, it works for Marvel well. things and well Disney owned things. Um, which I mean, what isn't Disney owned? I'm sure technically ESPN. Yeah, if, you, say, if you got sure the that, bundle. Yeah. Well, see, I didn't get the bundle. Um, Did you get Hulu with that too? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It was it was a good deal. It just wasn't a deal that I thought of getting at the time, <laughs> which I should have. Uh, so my thoughts on the draft is nice. Nice. Really cool. No, I enjoyed personally getting Jeff's thoughts on the draft during the live stream <laughs> on like the picks of the players that he clearly knew nothing about, but he was repeating the subtitles as they <laughs> scrolled across the screen of the muted stream that we had. So he would just start reading the guy's scouting report off the stream <laughs> as, as, as he's Major going. Really an and I'm like, you know, like, Jeff, you have no idea who this Which, guy is. Of course I know Aiden Hudson, the 6'7", 250 pounds. <laughs> he ran a 4'7", 340. He would, he, would, would, he would mispronounce the guy's name <laughs> off the reading of the subtitle or something. And he just keeps going. And I'm like, Jeff, that's not even the right name. It feels slightly illegal. It feels like... Copying somebody's work yeah. when you have no idea what the work is on. Yeah, no, but Jeff knew exactly what the work was on. Well, yeah, true. that's true. That's fair. That's fair. I'm sure they can play a sport. <laughs> true, a sport. I'm sure. I'm sure. Basketball, baseball, something. I'm yeah. Sure. I also the uh, one thing I forgot to mention. I did put on there. You know, we were talking about we'd grade my mock draft. Yeah. Lights out start. That's true. Just incredible start. start. Great start. And then I probably missed the last 15 picks in a row. Maybe more. Yeah. Oh, no. Yeah, it was bad. Dang. But I got I got Derek Stingley at three, which I only saw like one other expert actually have. I just <laughs> threw a dart at that one to the Texans. I had him at three, and that was one I felt good about. And then I had a few others. And I got I had a perfect like top five. And after that, it went. I got Kenny Pickett to the Steelers, and I think that might have been the only one I got Fell in the apart. back half of the yeah. draft. Yeah. It was a disaster. And then, I mean, in terms of NFL, just relating to the draft, one thing to watch for if you're an NFL person in this year is that the undrafted free agents are a lot better than normal because this is the COVID year. So all mm-hmm. the people that took the extra COVID year entered the draft this year. So instead of 1,700 prospects or whatever, there were 2,200 prospects. So 500 prospects who were typically good enough to get drafted aren't getting drafted because there just aren't enough picks for how many players entered the draft this year. Mm -hmm. So like a lot of those guys got jobs already, but they're undrafted free agents instead of draft picks. But they are typically better than that. So like I know the Colts have probably... Three to five 
undrafted free agents who are probably going to make the roster. Eric, weren't you going to go pro until you took an arrow to the knee? Yeah, until he took an arrow yeah, to the knee. I took an arrow to the knee. I was, I was going to go pro for underwater basket weaving. Back in uh, Nam. <laughs> 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Let's hear about that story. Let's talk about that. Let's, uh, let's get lost in thought with that one. Um, yeah, no, I think that <laughs> I realized that I wasn't going to be able to take my my high school tennis career to a to a D one college career. The moment that I stepped foot onto the course um, as a freshman <laughs> in high school, um, but it was at least you realize young, right? You know, yeah. But but I think that there's a certain aspect of of being smart and understanding in there. It's the sense of I know that I don't come close. So I think there should be a moment where I realize, like, oh, it's probably not worth investing everything into, you know, not playing at a D one school if that's what yeah. I want to do. Because <laughs> Because that was never going to happen. That was that was never a thought. So, yeah, I gave up underwater basket weaving for the cause. <laughs> for the <only> cause, <laughs> this, obviously. This had um, no coherent flow whatsoever. It, it doesn't. You just start it talking doesn't. tennis out of nowhere. <laughs> yeah. Well, this is, this is what happens when we had a fourth person. We got to relearn how to podcast. No, I was gonna. I was gonna claim to play golf as well in high school. <laughs> you don't want to associate with that, do you? <laughs> but I don't. Even even I would like to admit I don't know how much of a sport that counts as. So. It's a fair it's a sport. point. No, you I, don't, know. I don't want to go down that road. <laughs> it's fun. It's a mental sport it more is. than it is a yeah, physical yeah. sport. It's up there with chess for sure. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> yeah, I, I feel like I, those are know, two different types of mental sports. Like, you know, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if I follow you there, Eric. But I don't either. But okay. But that should. I mean, that's about all I have on the draft, and I'm pretty sure that you guys don't have anything. Else, because you guys were use me. No, I because you guys didn't really care. Like you don't really. It's not like full draft isn't everyone's thing. Like the draft is. Most people like to watch games. I also enjoy like the, like evaluation side of it and the draft side of it. But I also, you know, I'm fully aware that that is not for a lot of football fans or just sports fans in general. But I I do think that there are certain teams, which the Colts aren't necessarily one of those teams. I just like that stuff. <clears throat> but there are certain teams whose like fan bases enjoy the draft more than games itself, because the draft is like, hey, these prospects are good, and I really, you know, it brings a lot of hope to the table for like people like Lions fans, like we mentioned earlier, because they don't have a lot of hope once it hits <laughs> no. the field. True. Nope. The hope sails. That being said, Jared Goff for MVP. I, hope mm -hmm. I don't think Jared cared. I will be don't either, anything. but I will. <laughs> I almost want. I want Brian. it to happen. You know, I want it to happen for Brian's sake. Just for his I will. Team. I will accept Davis Mills if we're getting desperate. <laughs> but like, I mean, I would prefer not Davis Mills because right. he plays in the same division as the Colts. Man, it's down <laughs> That's bad. Yeah. But all right, uh, moving on from sports, Overwatch Two. Oh has baby! Been an absolute blast! I love it so far. Mm -hmm. Um, a lot of the changes have been they are all working really, really fun. That's true. It's been, I, it's been a clean beta. Oh, it's been very clean. Like, like been... not that glitchy or have anything. Have you got to play with Nate yet? No. I say uh, Jeff got a few games in with me on the live stream, yeah. the late night one. The late night one. So he's played it now. No. So, what are your thoughts, Jeff? For somebody who has not played all kind of Overwatch, but if Experience a right. little bit of it. Um, I mean, graphics are a lot better, a lot very cleaner. Crisp, yeah, clean. that, that was very nice. Um, I liked kind of the updated look of my character. Yeah, so that, was, that was cool. Looked pretty cool. Yeah, so looks better, uh, or at least just more modern, mm -hmm. which is cool. Uh, upset that I don't have my skins anymore because I had some rocking skins. Same. I don't know what, why yeah. mine I have, didn't transfer. I have some. Or... Really? Mm hmm Oh, maybe I should just go check. I have um, some of my PC ones. Obviously, I don't have any of my PlayStation ones, but... Oh. That's I don't... part of your problem yeah, either, Mine's too. all mm -hmm. PlayStation skins. <laughs> so that's upsetting. Um, let's see. I mean, not a lot changed for me because of the character that I play, so... Yeah, Lucio still fundamentally plays pretty, yeah, pretty similar. Right, and they didn't really change anything. Some of the biggest aspects too for like the the uh, players that maybe don't play a ton is stuff that it takes time to figure out is even there. Well, it, so like the ping system and stuff, you yeah, probably like I, rarely I, use because no. you're not used to it being there. 
it is it is different without a double shield for sure because you know you you would always just play behind the two shields yeah so now i'm playing you know trying to duck behind other people to for yeah. them to tank that damage positionally it's a little bit probably a little bit different right for you. so so i am moving a little bit more probably yeah. than i was before that's about it yeah. we're, we're no by no means experts at the game we except a lot of it. we're experts at the game so uh i wouldn't get your uh professional uh info from us <laughs> i mean all. you could but you might get hard stuck you plat to, or true. gold you have to talk to eric about it if you want uh, the professional but yeah, honestly, with my <laughs> my experience with Overwatch has been downloading it, not being able to play it, and then deleting it. Um, but I think that so obviously I haven't kept up to date with much of it. But do you think that the changes warrant a new game, or do you think that this could have been done through other updates? Other updates easily. I mean, yeah, I do think game. it is other updates, but I also do think that the as the time is progressing. It is looking more like Overwatch 2 is going to be released in a manner of updates. Yeah. Where, at, like, not like it's gonna still going to be Overwatch 2 and they're going to call it Overwatch 2, but it's going to be released in a... It seems like it's going to be released in a manner of more of, like, a content update rather than a brand new game. And, and until they get to the... Like, in terms of PvP, at least. At least, mm-hmm. yeah. The... Yeah. Prob- the, the PVE part of it will probably drop as its own game. Yeah, it'll gotcha. be a full okay. campaign. It'll be like a full campaign. But the yep. PvP is going to drop like an update because it's supposed to cross over with Overwatch 1. Yeah, I'm not 100%. They may have already answered that question. Yeah. I'm not for sure exactly how that content is going to drop. I don't um, know for sure either, but I know that like they talked about that Overwatch 1's PvP is supposed to like come alongside like it work into the new Overwatch 2 PvP. Yeah. So like you can play the PvP from either game. Gotcha. So they don't cut their player base in half. It'll yeah. update along with Overwatch 2. But how are you liking the 5v5 format, Jeff? Specifically you since I mean I'm just, uh, does I'm, it feel faster? Like you mentioned like uh, Yeah. Field. I would it's say so. I mean the, yeah, that's my biggest take. Prevalent. That is my biggest thing was just the double shield. Um it, but and yeah, it it does feel a little bit faster. I feel like I mean, it's exactly that. They're you're able to get team wiped quicker. It almost feels like for sure. I feel like it plays a lot more solo. Yeah, yeah. You individ- individually, you can make more of an impact than you could yeah. ever yeah. before. That is definitely more apparent, especially on tank and DPS. Tank and DPS feel very strong. Support. I mean, you're still playing with your team most of the time, and you're not going to solo carry. But an on a nade. On their entire team, yeah, you can definitely turn. We'll off turn an entire fight. Yeah. yeah, so you still feel that impact. Uh, it, it's just me, you may not. You may not see it visually that you're carrying. You may be carrying on different levels, but you're not seeing it on the scoreboard. And then, like solo wise with like Lucio, which are you know two of the top healers right now on a Lucio. Um, Lucio does. I mean, he's able to take care of himself because he can. Yeah, he can move fast. The mobility, so he can get out if Gotta somebody. Move fast. Because a lot of the big things right now is a lot of the characters that are really good are capable of are the ones that are capable of picking off the supports. Yeah, yep. like, and so. And Lucio is one of those Lucio is one of the supports that can get away from a lot sure. of those divey characters. But yeah, yeah, I'm really liking the five v five format. Uh, at first, it seemed a little empty. It I did. Mean, it felt weird for a little two bit. Characters. It's just like it was like oh, this is kind of empty. But once people finally got you know a feel for it and fights started breaking out, it felt like so much was going on. Um, like those first few games, I was like, oh, this is kind of slow. Like I thought it would be a lot more faster paced because that's what people were predicting and rumoring that had played the alpha. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, oh, this just feels empty. Like there's nothing really going on. But And I have seen a lot of a lot of them people say that the game plays a lot better than the alpha even. They yeah. changed, a, they listened to a lot of the creators and updated a ton of stuff. But I think when people were first, they were playing like it was overwatch one yeah and as soon as people started figuring things out that's when it's a lot lot more flanky and solo on this one than it is sit behind two shields and team fight yeah until somebody gets their all until somebody's shield breaks and or somebody yeah and turns the fight that way so i'm really liking the 585 uh format and all the changes they made all the tank rework Um, speaking of the tank rework they are really really fun to play 
extremely It's a shame fun. I'm terrible at all of them. <laughs> um, especially Doomfist. Is and that's so the one I'm the play. worst at. And I mean, just all of them are. He looks so good oh, too. Yeah. Every he's, time he's at, like, every time I see him, he's. I mean, he the, especially when you can tell like somebody knows how to play the character well. There's nothing more annoying than a good Doomfist. Yeah. And that stands even as he's a tank. Getting punched in the face by that giant gauntlet and just sending your character flying in a manner that you can't control is very annoying. Yeah. yeah. Like, oh, <laughs> it doesn't hurt as much as it used to. It doesn't one-shot no. you into a wall anymore, but you're still in a place that you didn't want to be. Right. Yeah. Like, all the changes, I-, I thought maybe he would just play differently, but he still feels like, I mean, it's very translatable from Overwatch to Overwatch 2. Like, there's just a few little nuances you have to learn. But he still plays like Doomfist, exactly how you want to play that that backline diving, jumping on the squishies, the support. Thing. I mean, just, just even as a tank, he still plays that way in the backline. Yeah, he still plays in his use of that same role. He's just lacking a little bit more of the damage. He's just taking he's taking aggro now, uh, and kind of controlling and seeing everyone while your team jumps in. That's kind of the big big kicker. And he, but he can still have the potential to pick off. Uh, one character and then get back out. Um, so he plays very, very similarly, and uh, I'm glad that they kept his core kit um, and just tweaking a few of the abilities around. Yeah, they didn't change him completely. Didn't completely change it and make him feel like a different character. So that so, makes sense. Sojourn's fun too. I've put a lot of time into Sojourn. Sojourn looks really cool too. The railgun, getting railgunned, it sucks. hurts. Yeah. It just comes out of nowhere. Yeah, I will say that I do think they need to up some sort of visual visual indications. Yes, on some of the I cannot ever tell what is like what is hitting me. There are yeah. definitely some UI problems and some minor fixes that can be adjusted, but I mean it is a beta. And, it is, and it'll it'll get addressed. Yeah, it will. Every single time that I get hit with that railgun, I do not know what hit me. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, what was that, and why did it hurt so much? Yep. It's painful, but it is a very cool character. She, yeah, great character. Seems pretty balanced. Like I, I don't think there's really too much they need. She to doesn't seem OP. There, there may be a few tweaks. You know, Blizzard in the past implementing a new character usually just oh they tune her, tune them, over tune over tune them over tune them ridiculously. Yeah, she seems pretty balanced, and like if anything, she might even get a little bit of buff. Uh, yeah, if, if they if they change her at all. So, um. Yeah, but like Jeff kind of was mentioning, lack of shields and uh, crowd control. I guess he didn't mention the crowd control, but you know the fact is that there's a lack of shields and a lack of crowd controls has opened up a lot of new uh, meta picks. I mean, it's not really a meta, and our opinions on the meta may differ from the actual meta. The meta isn't too... Let me say that it's fairly balanced right now. You can play a lot of different things and a lot of different styles and still compete. Yeah, but it's definitely opened up uh, a lot... Uh, uh, at least these DPS characters that I've listed, Soldier, um, with the lack of shields, has just free reign. Yeah, he is far away, railing right range. now. So he's doing yeah. really well. Genji, the lack of CCs on a lot of supports, especially if you combine them with an Ana. With an Ana, just Nanoblade. I mean, Nanoblade was already really good in Overwatch. It's even, I mean, it's even better now. Um, Sombra. Uh, just a lot of the her re- reworks and abilities um, are indicative of a little more divey comp, so she can play and cause havoc in a back. And the hack can just, still cancel stuff, even though it doesn't shut down abilities forever. Time. And then a uh, Reaper uh, feels also pretty good. Um, just in, in at least the matches that I've played against. Uh, uh, again, like there's not a lot that you can do to cancel his ult right now, currently, with a lack of CC, so uh, he can build his ult pretty quickly, and uh, there's not really much you can do about it now. I mean, there's definitely plays you can make. I'm not saying that he's completely broken, but there's... On a better hitter sleeps. On, on a better hitter sleeps, or one of the tanks better do, do something. something. But, but um, and then now the supports, uh, the supports feel... They don't feel near as bad as people thought they were going yeah, to feel they feel a lot yeah. better than expected yeah uh, i think generating ults has been a lot easier than rumored. I, think, I think so 
I mean, it still definitely it definitely takes a lot longer than usual. Yeah, uh, but but we were definitely were going in the supports were they were going to ruin supports because yep. all of us are support main. Yeah, yeah. They need to, and they did not. It, they they just play different. Yeah, is the main thing, but they're still still fun to play. They're still. <laughs> Nate is dead again. He is struggling. Maybe one day. One of these days. So, sorry, Eric, that we've kind of left you. Get left. Oh, that no, segment. That's okay. you it's all right. Played okay. Too much yeah. Overwatch, but uh, you're back. I know you've been back and better than ever. Yeah. This Eventually, is your moment. This so bad. Eventually, there will be an Overwatch two time for Eric. But Eric has to get off then. the school Wi Fi that won't <laughs> let him gonna, play Overwatch. Exactly. It's time for Camp Iliana Wi Fi. Camp Iliana. <laughs> And I think I feel good about it. I think it, I have, I think it has good prospects. It's fiber. Um, oh, will they, baby. So, will they sponsor us? Wait, what? True. Can Camp Iliana <laughs> yeah, sponsor us? We will do. Uh, we will go live from Camp Iliana. I don't know if That's I can true. speak for Camp Iliana, but you would be dope. work there. That, would, <laughs> that is Aren't how that you works. That's true. Yeah. That's true. Time to talk but to Ellen. Everybody knows that when you work for somebody, you you do speak for the business as a whole. Um, <laughs> exactly. Yeah, I don't know. I feel I feel good about it. I really do. I think I think that there is a Can our time podcast about... run a week of camp. Oh, that would be dope. Oh, that... <laughs> we can be the guest speakers. <laughs> be oh my goodness, make it happen. <laughs> <laughs> barbershop quartet. Bar- yeah. Did we just barbershop quartet? Jeff would <laughs> the obviously worship session. lead worship. Um, <laughs> what? But you, you're, the, you're the music <laughs> major here. What do you? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Jeff's a music major, but he actually hates music. <laughs> in fact, he's doing it out of spite. Music education. He also hates children. <laughs> he's just True. proving something, is what he is. Got to make a point. I, I got to make a point. That? You'll see point. soon. Okay. <laughs> I only got a year left until yeah. I can make my impact. Give it some time. Make Give your point. point. <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't know. I don't even know. All right. So, Eric. But yeah, that Wi-Fi. So Eric, this is your time to shine. So, yeah, something I can talk about. Um, Lego Star Wars. Um, to, to, to make it a little more serious of a topic here, Lego <laughs> oh, Star Wars goodness. Skywalker Saga <laughs> is really good. I think it, yeah. I, I do think it's solid. Um, I know that there, overall, there are some more things that I think could be touched upon and some, like, not necessarily, there, there are a ton of glitches and bugs and, and stuff like that, but that's, Oh, all like, Lego games, you know what I mean? Like, all Lego games have funky things about them. That... Well, we talked about it last week. We didn't We didn't have enough um, game time in the game, at least yeah. between the three of us, to notice them that. What's some of the glitches that you've experienced? Yeah, well, there's a few times where you can access parts of the map that have not um, properly been loaded in or aren't supposed to be accessed okay. until later on in, in your mission. So, so we ran into an incident of... Um, on Takadana, we were we climbed Ooh. over a wall we weren't supposed to be, and so we weren't in that area of the map until like three missions later, which ended up fairly crashing our game, making us crash our game oh. to get out of it. We, we had to like r- not reload a save, but exit out of the game and load back in, so it would put us in a place that that wasn't in the middle of a place we weren't supposed to be. Um, so there are a few a few issues like that. I know that I've had times where you will get stuck falling in, in certain aspects of the map as if your character can't land his feet on the ground and so mm. you'll just be like stuck in a rock or something continually falling. falling. But that's not something I would say that I would Between put a rock against. and a hard place? Exactly. Between a rock and a hard place. <laughs> always falling. Um, that's not or something... a brick in a hard... Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> like oh. Joke. That is a classic Lego. right there. Oh. Nice. Holy cow. He is a good back. one. Oh. Um, Plus two. I would say that overall though it it could have used a little more polishing, but that doesn't take away from the thing that is there. I mean, it's still beautiful, and it still works really, really well, but the fact that it could have used just... I mean, even even for the fact that they had said... I mean, they announced this game, like, in 2019, probably, 2018. A long like time. 2003. If, yeah, if they, 2003. Would have, if they would have waited before the trilogy, like two years, <laughs> and then announced it in like 2020, and then it got delayed the the year or two that it was, then it would be a, a near complete game. It, there wouldn't there wouldn't be anything wrong with it. But 
I would say that the biggest issue, and I think the the least fun moment for me is the fact that all characters fall within a class. And um, I don't really remember what the classes are, but I think it's like Jedi, Sith, uh, Bounty Hunter, Heroes. Um, scoundrel. Scoundrel. Astromech. Yeah. Protocol. Exactly. And then miscellaneous. And the miscellaneous, I would say, is the most affected because you have anything from like a Rancor to um, like Rats Tyrell, who is a who is a pod racer. So, um, so hold on. Let me get this straight. Are you... Fine with the other classes, but specifically yeah. the miscellaneous well, one. Well, yeah. So everybody, everybody fits into a class. So like you know, the Jedi are normally Jedi. You have like Luke and you know, Anakin Makes and sense. all yeah. of that yeah, yeah. fun stuff. Um, bounty hunters, you know, Jango and Boba Fett. It all makes sense. Cad Bane. Um, Cad, Cad Bane. I wish, but he's Is not, he in, not the in the game. game? No, what? he's not in the game. Um, Rip. I, rest in peace. Not I can at least give like a little um, shout out to like Is Ahsoka in the game? Uh, she'll be in the game here in the next release, May 4th. So, okay. possibly by the time you see this. Um, What's uh, May 4th? So they, they plan on making updated... May 4th is when they drop the... Um, May the 4th be with... The Mandalorian <laughs> Season 2, with. which is where she comes in, um, character bundle, and there's one... Oh, the Bad Batch character bundle comes in May 4th. So, she'll be in the game. Um, of course, you have to pay for that, but I pre-ordered the game, so... Oh, you get that. I have it all, because I'm a loser. But... Um, Relatable. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a loser for Star Wars, so Eric. that makes me a winner, and I'm fine with that. But I would say, I would say that this game, the only part that it lacks, and and I don't necessarily think it's their fault inherently because they were facing this mountain. Is it not only appeals to people who have been playing video games for you know 15 years, 20 years, 30 years, whatever? It has to appeal to people who maybe four or five, you know, just picking up a controller. And so there are a few aspects of it, like the the HUD that is just like very basic and big and bulky and can get in the way and just it can be a little with, unnecessary. Yeah, um, very much so. The menu. There, the menu. Exactly. The the menu as a whole is just like changing characters it takes three minutes. But the gameplay aspect of it, you know, whether it be parrying or you know stringing up combos or you know, figuring out the puzzles or throwing somebody to something, you know, working your way around the puzzles that they've worked years on, um, which I prefer to do. Um, <laughs> it's those aspects that make it Loser. so good. I think I, overall, <laughs> if, I, if I had to summarize, I think overall it's definitely like a three potato soup game. And I'm talking like three just, you know, classic potato soup bowls. Just you a know, good just, healthy portion. Just a healthy portion. Yeah. And it... It's solid. If you enjoy any of the Lego Star Wars games before, the Complete Saga, I can vividly remember playing the Complete Saga with Nate here um, when I was like oh. seven or eight um, at your old house. Your old, old house? Old, old house. Um, it was a blast. But if, if that is what you like, then this is definitely the game for you. Um, if you are new to Lego games, you can enter in at any point. It's it's definitely there. But if you are looking for a Dead Souls version and a Lego version of Dead Souls, this is obviously not the game for you. Um, but yeah, I would I would give it a solid three bowls, classic potato soup. It's an all around win. It's a good family game. It's very good. And yeah, I think that that's my my solid solid game. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Eric, for that. And that's like twenty hours put in. Right hours. So, yeah. My goodness. Yeah. And then <laughs> I don't know what I'm at. Probably close yeah. to the I'm, same. I'm pretty close. Yeah. I gotta be. But all right. Well, I think that uh, wraps up all our topics today. And so for the outro, Eric's going to go ahead and freestyle rap for us. So go ahead and uh, let's hear your bars. He said he wanted to do this. He said, this is, this is, he, <laughs> he, he was adamant this about was, this. And I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Like, we didn't want to. We didn't really yeah. want to, we yeah. didn't want I, to I include this, this really but we were forced to. It, he forced it, our hand. It was something, and now it's, it is unfortunate because they can't throw a beat to me right now, right, guys? You can't, no, you can't. Yeah. That's copyrighted, unfortunately. So, but you know what that means? If you subscribe, and if we figure out how to donate, if you donate, <laughs> then you can hear me rap. And I think that I think that that is fair. That's all fair. That could be like the sus- subscriber like pop up. Yeah, yeah. Just yeah. make it the yeah. notification. notification for, yeah, exactly. I'll come up with something, and we'll get it to you. But 
Yeah. <laughs> the notification. Okay, but for the outro one. one. The outro yeah, you can yeah, start the outro one. Start the outro one. Uh, start yeah, that it, great. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> You're talking to the guy who has his 17 hour long country playlist. Um, <laughs> I mean, mm-hmm. you can be country too. You don't have yeah, to. Yeah, well, I don't. Freestyle country song. Freestyle country song. Hey, Brian, if you could play oh, me no. a tune real quick. No, that's all right. Jeff's got it. <laughs> that is a classic <laughs> was a country banjo. music background <laughs> song right there. Um, thank you. That was great. What a beautiful <laughs> song. Yeah. We're going to wrap it up here, folks. Bye, uh, Merge. Thank you for all you guys' support. Brian is just needs <laughs> needs a new car. <laughs> Bye, Merge. <laughs> no, I just want to see the number go up. <laughs> I just want to see the... Oh, my. Brian's That's just fair. all about the money, I see. No, not even the money number. I just want to see the little total number that it shows me on the dashboard every time I log in. I just want to see it go up. Because it, cool. yeah. it looks cool every yeah. time it yeah. goes yeah. up. Okay. Yeah. okay. That's fair. But uh, that's all we got. All right. Peace yeah. out, guys. See Goodbye. Uh... Bye. Did you stop? <laughs>